making the commitment to the Lord. On the 5th of March, when she closed her eye, it was that she was released from the troubles of this world. On the 5th of March, when she closed her eyes, it was that she returned from when she came. On the 5th of March, when she closed her eyes, she started the process of restoration. That, that, that God gave her a new body. There was no more pain, no more blood pressure, no more problem, but God restored her body. Now I want to remind the family members in particular this afternoon that Sister Fanny, you heard it, she was a praying person. Many have said that in their moments of trouble, they could call her to pray, and she would pray. I believe that if she had another chance to pray this afternoon, she'll be praying for those of you family members who have not yet entered into a relationship with her God. For she know that one day, just like how she met this life, exit this life, and return to her God, she know that one day, you will leave this life and you know that if it is that you leave this life without a relationship with God it is not a return to the master and so our prayer for you this evening this afternoon is that you would have surrendered your life to our God not only was she a praying person but we heard it she was a witnesser she loved to witness. I, I, I remember a couple of months ago, coming from church, I stopped by. One family member was at church, and when she learned, I don't even know that she realized who it was that she was talking to. But her first question to the person, having heard that he was in church, then have you given your life to the Lord? And I believe that if she have a chance to ask a family member another question, she would have asked you, have you settled the account with your Lord? And since she can't ask you, can I ask you on her behalf this afternoon? Have you answered the master's question? Have you settled the account with the Lord? For the truth is, one day, just like how Francis Davis, exit this world. You are going to exit this world one day. Where will you spend your eternity? And so we are saddened by her passing. But we are celebrating for she walked with God. We are celebrating for it's a blessing. She's re she has returned. She is released. She is restored. And I believe deep down she's singing hallelujah thou leadest home the child of God and Jesus the way has trod if you have not settled the account make sure you do so for God's sake amen bow your heads Reverend Barrington Hood is going to now come and pray for all of us. And then pray in particular for the immediate family members. Eternal God, we bow in adoration this afternoon. We bow recognizing that you are God. That is in you we live and move and experience reality that you are sovereign. We bow thanking you for this wonderful gift of life and for the way you have sustained us on this journey and that our destiny is in your hands and that when it pleases you, you call us home. We have come together here this afternoon to celebrate to reflect and to give thanks for the life of Sister Fanny, your daughter. We thank you for the time that you have given her to us, 
and for the contribution you enable her to make to our community and to our wider society. We bless you, Heavenly Father, for our witness. And we thank you that even as we celebrate our life this afternoon, we hear your word reminding us, God, that she has been released. Released from the challenges and the struggles and the problems of this life. And that after over 94 years, she has returned to you. And in, is in the process of full restoration. But even as she enjoyed peace and contentment with you, you are aware, oh God, that her family are experiencing troublesome time. For death robs us hard. And losing a loved one, God, create great disturbance and unease and pain within us. And that is why this afternoon, we pause now to lift up our families to you. For you are the God of all comfort, and you are able to strengthen us when we are at our lowest hebb. And so now, Lord, we present in a special way our seven children. Lord, you know what they are experiencing. For all their life, they have mama to run to, mama to call upon, mama to pray with. But now, mama is absent from the body, but she's present with you. Lord, we pray a special blessing upon our children. We pray for their children and their children's children. God, bless them. And remind them that the preacher says, among other things, one of the blessings of death is restoration. Help them to know that death is not the end. But one day, the trump will sound, and Sister Fanny will rise. And those of us who are alive and have accepted you will rise. It will be a time of restoration for the family. But the preacher reminds us, God, it's for just those who have come to know you as Lord and Savior. Oh, Sister Fanny, when the family love her, and they would like to see her again, but tell them to recognize that in order to see her again, that they must love you the way she loved you, and that they must commit their life to you the way she did. So bless them and strengthen them and May they be there for each other, supportive of one another. We pray for our church. For from the record we are told that over 60 years ago she committed her life to you and experienced water baptism. Lord, that is almost two-thirds of her life. She lived in committed service to you. We thank you for our church, for which you have called her, and for which she was able to demonstrate her faith and serve you. She, her passing, has created a void. Lord, she was an ad hoc, which is hard to follow. Her shoe is not going to be easy to fill. But we pray, Lord, that the time she spent with them, singing, praising, praying, caring, among, with, and for them, would inspire them. We pray that in legacy, that she was truly a community woman. She was an integral part of our community. We thank you for the life you live here and the example she set and for our caring disposition. Again, Lord, you recognize the void created by her passing. We pray that this community and those beyond will be so inspired by our gift of love and caring that they too come to love the God she love and serve you. Lord, thank you for every person here this afternoon. May we continue to reflect upon this journey and upon this wonderful experience called life. But may we remember that one day we will be lying where Sister Fanny is now lying unless you come before. 
help us, as the preacher says, to settle the account before it's too late. For your name's sake we pray. Amen. Amen. A wonderful Savior is Jesus, my Lord. A wonderful Savior to me, he hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock that shadows. Where rivers of pleasure I see. Some of us remember a few years ago how she immersed herself into this song as uh, she celebrated her last birthday, or shared in her last birthday party. We're gonna sing this great hymn of the church, one that our sister loved dearly. I trust that it will serve to inspire and encourage all of us, for the truth is, in our moments of challenges and difficulties, there's a good person whom we can hide. Let Jesus hide you. A wonderful Savior is Jesus, my Lord. To, to, to now come as we transition to her final resting place. Paul Bearers, please, please come. Mr. Blake is going to continue playing. As soon as the Paul Bearers are here, we will rejoin, or resume the singing. <coughs>
Jesus here. When my heart is pain, to deeply for birth and song, as the bird. the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you, and become the first fruit of them that slept. In him shall all be made alive. We brought nothing into the world, and it is certain that we cannot take anything out of the world. The Lord gave, the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. All flesh is as grass, nor the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withers, the flower falls away, but the word of the Lord endures forever. After labor comes rest. After struggle, peace. After life's fitful fever, this last sleep. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. For as much as it pleased Almighty God to call from this life the soul of our dear departed sister, we now commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, dust to dust, and ash to ash, and leave our soul with our God, our Savior, and our Maker, in the sure and certain hope of the resurrection to life immortal, through our Lord who died, was buried, but he rose on the third day from the grave, and is now even at his Father's right hand, making intercession for us. Let us pray. Into your hands, Lord, we commit our lives, even as we now seek to live without our loved one. We pause to thank you for her contributions to humanity, and for the many ways she touched our lives. Lord, as we lay her to rest, and as we beseech thee all those who mourn, and remind us of your presence, even as we go through these difficult times. Bless us, we pray, in Jesus' name. Amen.
I'll invite the workmen to seal the sepulchre. We will sing the hymns for printed on the program. Pass me not, O oh gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. This on the altar, right? my While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Savior, hear my humble cry. Do not pass me by. Let me on the throne of mercy. Find a sweet relief. Even there in deep country. Help my unbelief. over the way to prepare us a dwelling place there. And by faith. And by faith we can say the Father. For the Father waits over the, the way. To prepare us a dwelling place there. In the sleep. In the sleep. Bye. 
From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, God's name is to be praised. So, brothers and sisters, friends, all, Almighty God bless you and keep you. God lift the light of his countenance on you and give you peace, now and forever, world without end. Amen. Thank you very much for coming. I wish you a safe journey to your different places of abode. The Lord bless you. Thanks.